Just to verify that we're we're back. Uh, still, you're still offline. I don't see the stream. Um, really? Yep, says offline. That's not good. That's not good. All right, I think we're back. Yes. Wait. No. What the hell? It says offline. Offline. <sighs> we had like 15 viewers. No. <laughs> you got... You got Comcasted. Did, it, did that show up in chat, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Good. God damn it. I don't know what to do, because it still says we're streaming. It says we're live. No. We are not. Uh, somebody else with the host? I don't know what to do. I know Twitch was given uh, Kiboga problems for the past like two or three days. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. Like, if you were having ISP issues. No. That's my hallucination. It's all a dream, Adam. <laughs> Adam, wake up!
He pants. He pants slightly less. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some whiskey, boy. Let's go. And then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna lead the way. I'm gonna jump in the stairwell. I believe Char Char's whiskey bottle was broken when he first started. When we first got in here, or something. Which whiskey bottle? Hey, Char Char has most. Well, the one you have left, I believe, oh, also oh, has oh. like other. Like rubbing alcohol in it, so you can make a Molotov cocktail, I believe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> really Molotov cocktail. All right. Uh, so uh, you kick the door open, and you hear st footsteps approaching from below. Well, re well time. regimented plasteel footsteps. Right at the same time. There's only stairs oh. down. The uh, there's roof access. That's fine. There's roof. <laughs> it's the yeah. That's, I'll say that's the NPC turn. Uh, now they are coming up the stairs. At the other end of the hallway, you hear another ping, and the numbers. John, did you did you run away, John? Oh, I assumed we were moving the box with the group. Oh yes, we need to we need to go move the box since we're working together, <clears throat> which will leave my hand free. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, so you guys all made it to the the ladder. Well, are you? What's who's in front, and what is what? Are, what are we doing? I don't, uh, I don't know if we should go down, guys. It's, uh, it sounds a little dicey over there. Lou is just whimpering. I don't want to die today, man. <laughs> right up it is. I'm going to run up. Do you all follow up the stairwell? <clears throat> I'll say if we, if, I will say if we all go up the stairwell... I will let everyone go up the stairs, and we can make a check to see if you can barricade the door, or or lock it, or something. Yeah, or I'm gonna fall. Okay. I'm gonna start pulling the case up the stairs. I guess I'm not sure what Kevin's doing. Yeah. Oh, I'm. We're <laughs> we're we're going up the stairs. All right. The tears the of the tears of Lou streak the halls, as you make your way to the roof and. Uh, as wait, as an incidental, can I backhand him very gently and tell him to stop it? Sh sure. Yeah. As <laughs> sure. <laughs> you manage to once you get to the roof and put the and you guys get up there and have a moment to put the case down, you just slap him. Char Char is just not paying attention, I imagine. Uh, who wants to try and lock the and, and secure the door? Pretty good luck Seems securing like something the door. Lou should do. He hasn't done anything else. <laughs> He's going to have a lot of setbacks because you guys have been harassing him all night long, just so you know. I have medical checked him and comforted him. <laughs> yes, he has been comforted. He doesn't have skullduggery, actually. That's not part of his um, skill set. I mean, I could have him roll, uh, what is it, uh, cunning? I think his I cunning will. is pretty decent. His cunning Kevin, is... Kevin, will, Kevin will set that. So we're on the roof, correct? Yeah, he has four cunning. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. We're on the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, before I barricade, I want to know what is, like, how high up are we? Um, it's like, it's essentially the second floor, but it's, it's the building's... Part of it is raised a little higher, so you're like on the second and a half floor, so maybe what, 25, 30 feet off the ground? Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the only door I see that leads to the roof access? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay then I will barricade the door. All right. I've got difficulty and, set. Average. And, yep. Oh. Oh. Boost. 
All right, I got it boosted. It's going to be average with a setback because it is a door that is meant to be, like, openable. But at the same okay. time, uh, it's not that difficult, so. And I fail again. My God. Uh, hmm. I'll let you try. With two advantage, I'll let you try again. Okay. We'll click it again. Four successes. All right, yeah. So you managed to get the door locked. And since you had an advantage also, they're not going to immediately approach the upstairs. They're going to go to their locker first. So um, you, you have a little bit of time to figure out how to get off of this roof. You do notice on the west side of the building, there uh, there seems to be a lot of... There's lights, there's some commotion, there's pro that's probably where all their speeders are at the front of the building. Um, the east looks fairly dark like there's nothing really going on over there except uh you know it's like an industrial zone so there's some i'm gonna superman dive off the ledge and shoot my grappling hook on the ledge Grappling hook, right. This seems quite daring. I don't know how I, I don't wanna I don't wanna kill Dr. Agbazi, but I feel like this is a difficult All part of the plan. From the years of drug use. Um, that's I fair. I remove one black uh, diet per rank of condition from athletics and coordination checks. Wow, that's Reducing cool. Reducing the damage and strain suffered from falling by one per rank of condition. I was actually going to say it was either athletics or condi or, or uh, coordination, so yeah. I removed the setback. So now it's just a hard check. That'd be, uh, that's my move. <laughs> uh, anyone else want to go? We're going to take it out of turn. We're no, no more uh, turn order, so freeform uh, that stuff. Uh, Kevin's going to throw the uh, uh, case he's carrying mm -hmm. over the edge. Okay. Unbeknownst to Doc Saz, it was still hanging on to the other side. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, man. You got out of there. Um, yeah, you chuck the case. It does not hit Doc Ragbazi. It lands safely in the bank of snow near Ragbazi. Good. <laughs> so you just see a Ragbazi, a hole, a Ragbazi shaped hole in the snow with some moans coming out of it. Uh. And then, like, three feet, three feet north of it, <laughs> this huge crate of weapons. Slams into the ground safely, and all the snow that was surrounding it just kind of like craters outward. So now Ragbazi is covered in snow. Okay. Um, then I, as Kevin Costner, yeah, last of the Bothans, cattle ranching extraordinaire, uh -huh. uh, I would like to look at the remaining crew members that are up on the roof uh -huh. and tell them I'll see you down there and I want to jump and 
use force move to try to like push against that case that's on the ground as I go down to like soften the blow. Feather fall. Feather fall. It's kind of like shitty bungee jumping. Um, yes. Roll a, uh, a single force die. Okay. Unless you have two. Do you have two? I, I have one. Okay, roll your force die. Oh, no. You're going to take... Uh, so fall damage is pretty serious in this game. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, let me as get long my as it is here. nine or less... Oh yeah, it'll probably be less than nine. Um, nine or less. I hope this has fall damage on it because I don't know if it does. I I will take nine. That is acceptable. Hold on, I think it has fall damage. Hold on. Hold on. Falling damage. Uh, okay, so it's going to be an average athletics check. And instead of full damage, I'll probably give you only. I'll give you only give you half damage. But also, for every success, you reduce the the strain damage by one, or by the the physical damage by one. And every advantage, you lose uh, one. It reduces strain by one. So this is medium range. So it would be twenty uh, thirty regular damage and twenty. Strain damage. God. Oh god. Um, this is bad. I'm also gonna give you. No, you're not going for the snow. You're going for the crate. Yeah. Uh, well, no, you, I. You can I'm upgrade if you off want the crate. I'm I'm trying to land on the like in the snow, but I'm pushing off the crate to slow me down. Okay, I'll give you a boost then. Are you wanting? Do you want an upgrade at all? Yes. All right. Give me that life side point. Om, nom 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 nom. Okay. And that's an athletics check? Uh, athletics or coordination. Oh, God. oh coordination? Bet. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, one of these have to be okay for you. How? How? <laughs> oh, no. So here's the thing. You did roll a force die in there. That shouldn't have been in there, but it came in with dark side. If you want to take... I think it's two strain. I will allow you to take a dark side... A move on the dark side scale... And uh, we'll turn it into just for advantage, no failure. I'll, I'll allow you to. Uh, you're only going to take like, we'll say we'll say you'll take eight damage. Done. Okay. Cool. Done. I. Kevin's looking pretty rough, guys. We. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin's Kevin's looking hard. All right. From the star-shaped hole in the snow, kind of fire my grappling hook back up to the roof. You have to retract it first, and I want to see if it hurts you. Because <laughs> you're laying down. How cute. Like, you're going to have to, like, retract it. I'm assuming it's, like, a, a fairly quick retract since there's no weight on it. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me roll a force die real quick. Oops. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's whipping back like a loose hose. And it's it's going to uh, as it's coming back before it goes into the barrel, it hits you in the chest. Take a damage and a strain. Uh, or a wound. Uh, <laughs> but you have it, and you can fire it back up if you want. Can I do a perception check to see if there's a fire escape ladder? <laughs> you notice uh, on the north edge of the building, as you look around, there absolutely is the fire escape ladder. Yeah, I'm gonna go take them. I was waiting for someone to look and nobody looked. Like, it's like when you give your PCs a door and don't say anything about it. Everyone tries to break the door down or or pick the lock or something, but the door is never locked. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, you absolutely could walk down. You could get to the ladder and slide down like a like like a Ghostbuster real fast to the bottom. We'll say you're at the bottom of the ladder on the north side of the building. Uh, can you phone? Yeah, yeah, totally. Try truck could follow. I got you, buddies. I'm still firing the grappling hook. <laughs> uh, it, I said I said medium range. 
Excuse me. Go ahead and shoot your hook. Is that range light? Yeah, you can just use the same roll as your uh, as your uh, scalpel. Scalpel is the name of his gun, by the way, because <laughs> he's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, you managed to set the hook, and it's on the edge of the building. And you you at least have pulled it start, wound it up enough to where like you raised like Dracula from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> do you like do you continue to go up or are you just kind of like lifting yourself up? Just lifting myself up, uh, kind of getting over the box to kind of rig like a zipline. Oh, I got it! I got it, guys! Oh, it's oh, it's safe to come down. As Char Char and Zaz walk around the, from the north side <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys just see a grappling hook now on the roof, leading straight down to an orange tree leg dangling on top of, like, sitting on top of this ammo cr or this weapons crate with the grappling hook wrapped around one of the handles and Kevin Costner nearby on a half mound of snow. And he they, they both look real rough. <laughs> Kevin's just like. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, since we're technically kind of out of combat, if everybody wants to make a cool or a discipline check to recover some strain, that is acceptable as well. Yes. Kevin uh, wishes for many things, and that is one of them. Uh, yep, whichever is better. Your choice. Oh. So technically, it's one success per per strain recovered. But if you get two, I will say two advantages are also a strain recovered. Hooray! I got two. I get to recover two. John, you got you, you get three. Say we are outside, in nature. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'd say we're outside in nature. Cool. Nature, Goulet. I mean, you're in the snow. <laughs> it's, it's close to nature. You're gonna get in this town. Uh. Three success, there you go. Survival, god damn it. <clears throat> By the way, where's the hot dog cart? Did you bring it here? I don't recall. Did you bring the hot dog cart, or is it still at Lou's sister's place? I thought it was about Lou's oh sister's god, place. No. Okay, it's at Lou's sister's. What happened? You dog fart? Yeah, no, it's awful. <laughs> Uh, dog farts. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> like, so it's not going to be able to self-drive around the building to you. me! <laughs> He's all the way across the room! So, yeah, oh, how, how are you guys, uh... You want to do a medicine check still? Um, what's yeah. your... On, on Kevin Costner... Uh, recovery checks, since he has more than half of his hit points down... Oh. Um... It's an average check. Do you have any boosts to your medical stuff? I'm assuming you do. You're a doctor. I'm going to toss him in my patch. I have a physician's kit, which is boost die to a medicine check. One success, uh, one advantage. Once per med check, one advantage, one success. Okay, cool. Go ahead and roll your medicine check whenever. So that's three success, and that's it. Because you have the success and advantage that cancels out the threat. So three success, Char Char, or uh, uh, Kevin recovers three wounds and three strain. Uh, Kevin looks so much better. Wait, what did... Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, like, all of a sudden, he's, <gasps> his, his eyes open back up. <laughs> you hit him with some adrenaline. Ah. Um, 
Yeah, you want to drill in there, bud? We Hang can take we can take a break real quick. Um, with that, uh, Kevin springs to life. Everyone is gathering around the weapons crate to figure out how to get back to uh, Lou's sisters, their hideout.
All right. We have returned. Okay. So we've made it off the roof, mostly intact. There are stormtroopers swarming the building. It's only a matter of time before they get to the roof and, and deduce what happened. Uh, you have a crate full of Imperial weapons and a backpack full of ammo for said weapons. What Charlie do? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Dennis is a bastard man. Why Charlie hate? <laughs> music. <laughs> oh, music. Sorry, guys. Sorry, everybody. I forgot the music was still going. I do that sometimes. <clears throat> also, uh... DM, DM Studios, I don't have a link for you, but if you have a link you want to drop for, like, a Discord or something, um... If, I mean... Uh, I'm super happy everybody got raided in here, and I want to make sure that everyone who does raid gets uh, gets acknowledged. So, <clears throat> where did Adam go? <laughs> uh, what the hell just happened? Neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to now that I'm seeing the groups back again. I'm gonna try to uh, shake my grappling hook off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, I won't hurt you this time. <clears throat> okay. Grappling hook retrieved. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get roll this time. I'll say, I'm gonna say you're too prepared for it this time. You're a little gun shy, so you're like, <laughs> like, doing like the, the cower and shake, like, <laughs> your cape pulled up like Batman. Go around the building to get out of here. Out this way. You can leave out this way. Uh, again, there there is snow, so there will there will be tracks until you get to a road or something. Um, you could also, I mean, you guys came here in a in a minivan, I believe, right? It yeah, was Lou's sister, sister's van out front. That's oh, why I don't have the hot dog cart. Oh, she dropped you off. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so you guys have no vehicle. You can call your sister, or uh, but you probably want to get somewhere away from the building. Yeah, I'm just gonna start walking away from the building. Are you dragging the weapons, or are you just walking away? Uh, I mean, you yeah, probably you could probably make Char Char carry at this point. One hand. Um, that's a good point, Char Char. Are you gonna carry the weapons? He's not even He's at not his here. PC. I'm gonna jump on him and command him to pick up the. Fair enough. He picks up the he picks up the crate with you on his back. The whole time he's like, oh! We got him, bud. You Easy, can buddy. smell his alcohol sweats. Uh, we got some more wirings for you when we get back. Let's go. So we all just go in like. We'll see. There's like, you know, when you're in like an industrial park, there's little sections where they have like trees and bushes and stuff between different, like, industrial buildings or whatever. Mm. There is, like, a, 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 a good-sized patch of, of trees and, and shrubbery that you could make it through to another building where you would be out of sight, essentially, uh, and then figure out how to further Call maneuver. To Lou's sister. Yeah, Lou, Lou uh, has her rung up and tells him, you're just the next building over? And you're leaving from there, or are you guys going to try and walk anywhere else? I would say just the next building over, and we'll wait there for Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll say that. Let me roll something real quick. One light side. Thank you, dice. Uh, there's There are no events. She arrives. You load the crate in the back. She's like, geez, what happened to you guys? Who smells like piss? Lou. God, Lou? <laughs> they had a rough night. Hey, it's not my fault. You should have. You don't even want to know half the things these guys have done in there. I, I'm scarred for life. You oh, know, he's being as so short dramatic. as it has, will has be. Has he always been this dramatic, uh, sister? <laughs> well, I mean, he has a really serious heart condition, and he's not. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna 
you know, he, if he hasn't told you what's going on, I'm not going to tell you his medical stuff. You should get that looked at. Do you want that looked at? I can yeah. look at that for you. Sure, sure. We'll just... I've been getting it looked at for a good long while, and I don't, and, uh, it's, it doesn't seem like there's anything anybody can do, so it's... Can uh, I do a whole... minute to check on him again? Yeah, no. I will allow you... Well, you don't have a lot of equipment to do, like, in-depth analysis of this of this Rodian. So all you'd really That's be what doing... what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know... Okay, if you're going to go... Mobile command even. <laughs> yeah. Your van is a mobile command unit. No doubt. All right, so if this is going to be something you're just looking at him and trying to see what's going on, unless you have something that would make this not nearly impossible by looking at somebody, it's going to be five difficulty die. It's ah. not, there's no negative. This is just you, like, inspecting him medically to see if you can tell what's going on. Ah, but you can see... Can I have a boost because I've already started looking into it? Is he just saying... That's fair. You did look up. You did look into it. I'll let uh, Zaz, you roll first. <laughs> Just uh, whenever you get the medical to success and a threat. Okay. Uh, Ragbazi, what, what were you saying now? Ragbazi pulls out his bioscanner. Okay. What does that say? I can identify species, age, and condition based upon a given set of parameters. Can also detect anomalies in anatomy. I remove two setback dice from any medicine checks. I'm gonna make it a difficulty two for that because it's an average. You have a you have a scanner that can knows how to scan Rodians because you work with Gus. Roll your medicine yeah. check. <clears throat> in a triumph, I love it. So uh, Doc says has two success and a threat. And Doc Rick Bozzi has a success and a triumph. Doctor. Um, Yield. So Doctor. you both are aware, like judging by like you, you check his pulses. He could tell you if you probably if you would have asked him, but you guys just start like grabbing him and like He doesn't know really. <laughs> right. You guys just start grabbing him and checking pulse and like looking in his eyes. He's like, What are you, what are you doing? Oh my, come on. So you both Judging by what's going on and how he's he's got like labored breathing, uh, he has some sort of heart condition. And with your scanner, you can see there's an anomaly. It's 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 almost like uh, an a, almost like AFib. One of his val. So okay, if we're going off fly anatomy, their 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 heart it pumps both directions. It's like right in the it's it's on their back and it pumps in both directions. Right, essentially. So if we're going to say it's anything like a fly, because, I mean, the Rodians, they look like flies. Um, you see his, the, 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 the valve that pumps blood north to his head and stuff is, is not pumping like it should. And it looks like there are some masses, like, in his heart. No, he's just a coward. <laughs> um... So can you just drop the seat down as a bed? Well, with the with the triumph, yeah. with the triumph, Ragbazi, you're you're pretty confident. If you have the right cocktail of drugs in you, um, you might be able to operate if you can if you can be coherent. You wouldn't be able to do it here. You wouldn't be able to do it at Lou's sister's house. But Lou's not dying right now. He's just that he has a limited amount of time. Ah, but you see, I'm just kidding. I don't have anything. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I could tell you what's going on. It's, it's my, my, it's my heart. I just, I just, it's too expensive, Shh, too expensive to get. It's okay. Put my finger no. over his no, 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 really, God. And he stops trying to talk. <laughs> Uh, this is something that a lot of doctors probably wouldn't want to try because it, it could just kill them outright. Uh, also, it's pr it looks like it would be a very costly procedure. So when Lou was talking before about spending all of his money for medical stuff and gambling to try and get more money, this is the kind of thing that he was he was going for. Yes, I think we can do it. I think. I agree. I, guess I see what's wrong. Hang on. Oh, you guys, please, 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 please. It's okay. No, 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 it's okay. He's but pinned. How else are we going to repay you back for this, Lou? Just oh, no, really, it's just one of the consider it. I know it, no debt. Shh. Hit it. Uh, Charger's going to slap him on the back one. Oh, 
Are you son of a bitch? <laughs> and he's gonna say, listen, listen, a lot of people are He passes out. He uh, passes out when you slap him in the back. Uh, Charger's gonna look down at him and say, no judgment, bud. And he, he pees his pants down. again. <laughs> Just for good measure. Charger's gonna look around the room and say, no one judge this man. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna side high charge. <laughs> so y'all, it, this was late at night. So we'll say that um, we're back at Lou's sister's place. Wait, is Lou dead? No, he's just unc- <laughs> he just he just passed out. He probably didn't wasn't out for long. It was more like a he slapped him, he passes out, pees his pants, fade out, move next scene. Okay. <laughs> He's like he's he he's like has his head in his hands and he's walking out of the back of the van like oh my god and seriously you guys it's not such a big deal like I've made peace with it it's way too expensive and you guys <laughs> terrify me I, 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 we're we're fine please seriously uh, I don't need you don't need to repay me but uh, it's fine Lou we got you I'm gonna wait about two doctors here this I'm gonna hand Doc Zaz a syringe. How far would you say that the nearest clinic is from us? Um, Operating room. I mean, we're at we're back at Lou's <laughs> sister's house, right? Listen, 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 listen. The, the space station that that I got for you for, for Gus. Uh, I mean, there's probably a, an actual medical supply state, like a medical facility on the space station. Like, we could we could get there. I mean, it's only if we, you know, I don't know how how fast your you, your jump I don't know engine if you're is. You're gonna make it that far, Lou. No, 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 please, please, please. I have ice over here, there's power. Whoop, whoop. I would I just like to see Gus there. happy before I almost probably, Charger's most likely point, die. Gus is going to point at his <laughs> pants and go, I, I mean, I got to agree, man. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I think I would rather see, I would rather see Gus happy one time before, you know, like... Before it, I possibly, most likely, am gonna die from you guys tearing my heart out of my body. Uh, I ran a shot of anesthesia, and I give a shot of script script He stays as far as he can away from you guys, <laughs> nearest the the closest door to him. Uh, he has his hand on the handle, and the door he like turned the handle, but he hasn't opened it yet. I tap Ragbazi and point to Char Char. Skirt, skirt. No, really, you guys. We can get the, to the space station in less than a day, and, and we maybe we can have this all done by Life Day. You know, it's only like what a day and a half. Of, well, I think tomorrow's Life Day. Like, uh, I, let me get to Life Day before you probably kill me, please. Uh, church, church. All right, Lou. We'll give you a chance. He still doesn't let go of the doorknob. <laughs> church is gonna furrow his brows and look at him and say. Make it that long. Oh, I, 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 I let's try. <laughs> I think Maybe. I could do. I think I could do a twelve-hour hyperspace jump. Yeah, I mean that's a long jump even for me, bud. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? Weren't you on Rodia at one point? What do they do? Put you to sleep every time they jump? What are you, B. A. Baracus? Oh, really, Lou? He just kind of puts himself to sleep. You see? <laughs> oh, that's what the that's what the smell is. He just drinks himself out. You know, it doesn't smell like you haven't pissed yourself in a while, too. Uh, I mean, no, but the judgment free zone, man. That's fair. Right. You're actually not being too bad recently, and I can I can deal with that. <laughs> Please, let's just go get Lou or Gus. <laughs> God. <Gosh. laughs> Yeah, we have you, Lou. I told you, we got you, Lou. We got yeah. Jar Jar will, like, reassuringly, gently pat him on the shoulder and say, no, I got you, man. Why don't you guys go and, like, prep your ship? Let me know where you docked at. I'll go get Gus, and we can just get on, uh, move our way up to the space station, huh? Uh, okay. All right, fine. Oh, thank God. Thank the gods. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to follow Lou with my needle. Uh, he's walking you. facing you. He's walking backwards everywhere he goes. He's tripping over stuff, but he's definitely walking backwards. <laughs> and he has his hands up like he's trying. If you he, if he come at him, he's going to like slap you away. It's like, All um, right. Okay, fine. Okay. 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 I do have a blaster. I just forgot. So don't make me use it. 
He's got like a, I think it's a holdout blaster. <laughs> so it's like a little pocket pistol. <laughs> all right, all right. So Lou goes to get Gus. Y'all head to the ship. Y'all meet up and Gus comes out. Oh my God, you guys, I don't believe it. You actually pulled it off. You did something right this time. Lou, they didn't burn the building down, did they? Nah, no, 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 no. This time, it's all time, Gus. The building didn't burn down. They didn't even blow anything up. I mean, unless you count the droids. Uh, droids? What do you mean, droids? You guys are you fighting. Statues, really, Gus. There's decor, all to right. be honest. Well, Lou didn't tell me what was going on, so what's in the crate? Lou and Gus are both Rodians, and they grew up together, by the way. <laughs> I do have different accents I could do, but these two, th it makes sense. <laughs> I try to diff delineate by pitch. Gus is more lower, and Lou is a little bit higher, you know? He's got the higher-pitched voice, and then Gus is down here, you know? Uh-huh. All right. I don't know what's in the crate. <laughs> I only carried it. I didn't see it open. Lose. I have no idea what's in the crate, Gus. I, uh, all I know is that it came from one of the rooms over there. But we did it. We got in. We got out. Gus is just like... L Gus is still recovering from... Uh, he, he seemed kind of itching his neck a little bit. His eyes are still a little puffy from when he had that allergic reaction to the uh, G. <laughs> Ricknit. But uh, he's also... He's, he's kind of... You know, I'm a little cold, though. Like, colder than I should be... Uh, what did you give me yesterday? I know you stuck me with something, Rackbazzi. What was that? I feel like, uh... What? I don't I don't know. I feel like, uh, missing something. Are you something. sure that was your arm? I thought that was my arm. I feel like I'm missing <laughs> something, you know? There's, like, a part of me... There's a part of me that I'm, like, missing right now, and I just... I just... I don't know. Ah, right, whatever. Let's get on the ship. Oh, guys. I'm gonna hug him. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm still not... So, I'm still not really pleased with you, so just... Just, just give it a minute, I... okay? A part of me misses you too, Gus, and I'm hugging him. I don't think that's what it... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I like you guys. Oh, yeah, Kevin. I'm assuming, I'm assuming Kevin is there. Well, of course. I am going to pass a folder to Kevin. It is a fat folder, by the way. It's like... Ooh, I like fat folders. It is thick. It's held together with those big-ass alligator clips. <laughs> They're binder clips, that's what they are. The big ass binder clips. It's got like eight of them. You gave a, a, a vial of <laughs> skirtopinol to Zaz? Is that what I'm saying, Doc Regbazi? Yeah, before we got to uh, Lou's sister's house. Okay. Slipped him one. Which one's skirtopinol? Is that the neuroparalytic? Muscle relaxant slash antidepressant. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. Uh, all right, you guys, uh, unless you want to do anything on the ship, you guys head up to the space station. And uh, as Lou said, the the um, Ugnats that live there were are no longer there. They didn't really say how, why, or what, but when you pull up, it's still spinning. Let's see, hold on. But nothing is really, like, there's no lights on. Except uh, some red lights around the docking, like a docking ring. Um, if you're looking at the... I, you guys don't have the um, the labels, but there are main airlocks you could dock to. There's also the secondary airlock, which is off on its own. Um, so whoever's piloting, I'm assuming that's Kevin Costner... Um, where would you like to go? These these the decks of this spaceship are deck one is a large ring with some protruding uh, like like hammerheads on the on the east and west side. Uh, the second deck above that is just a single layer disc, smaller, probably probably about uh, two thirds the size of the regular one of the of the big dish. And then the deck three is on top of that, same size as deck two. There are there are like antennas and stuff protruding, but the airlocks appear to be able to be docked to. Well, I want to go where I can dock. We'll pick an airlock. I'll let you know what you see when you get in there. Uh, we'll go. There's the Kevin here. Would just, Either Kevin side. Would just, Kevin would probably go right down 
okay. on the main main floor. All right, main airlock A. All right. So you dock. Let me do a pilot. Let's do a piloting check, shall we? Um, oh God. Piloting space. Yes, it's just going to be average, but I'm going to give you a setback because it's it's really dark. <laughs> okay. I will give you a boost for the red lights, though. So you have a setback and a boost. Three success and an advantage. Yeah, you uh, the umbilical extends and you are docked perfectly in in synchronicity with this spinning station. And it was it, almost like nothing happened. Nobody even noticed it. You're just like, all right, we're here. It was smooth, like butter. And as you... Are you guys just going in to the air... Are you just walking into the, uh... Uh, can I get a read on the space station to make sure life support and all the main... Actually, uh, yeah. With your advantage running. and all your success, you, are, you have a link to the station. It is running on the lowest amount of power. It currently... The the life support is running, but very very low intensity, very low power. So it would okay. be it would probably be a good idea if someone brought um um you know on it was it Empire Strikes Back when they're inside the Exegorth the worm on that asteroid and they have this little face masks with the chest boxes. The, yes. They're like they're like breathing apparatus. It would probably be beneficial to have one, but not necessary. You might be a little sluggish if you don't bring extra air, but uh, after a while, once your blood deoxygenates a bit, um, but I mean, you could function in here. Just it would start to get tiring after a while. Okay. Uh, Kevin will relay that. Systems are kind of functional. Hey guys, you might want to uh, bring oxygen with you just to be safe. <laughs> Lou's like, oh yeah. Um, how many how many rebreathers do we got in here? I don't know. Gus is like, I have no idea. Reg Bazzi, that's uh, that's your department, right? Weren't you the one doing uh, medical stuff in the in the hangar? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for the ship. Hold on. What do we call the ship? Sarlacc Express. Was it the Aurora Freight? It was the... Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. When I pop, when I blow this up, you'll be able to tell me if I'm right or wrong. Whoop. I believe this was the ship. It's a little fuzzy for me still, but... There we go. Or am I wrong? Uh, no, yesterday it's got the operating table. On the day, yeah. Or was it... We have an operating table right here. Or yeah. was it... Oops. That... No, we had the Millennium Falcon. Did we? Well, it's not the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> it's actually more of the Outrider, which is Dash Rindar's ship, I believe. It's a YT-2400, I think. I don't remember. I don't recall. No, we had this one. This one. Because okay. it definitely had... I definitely remember the operating table in the loading bay. Because we cleared out all this shit, and you have a, a, an operating table that like over here somewhere. Or yeah. over here. I thought that's what this big... I have it, I have it all drawn out on our, in, our, in our actual game. Yeah. Game. I just don't have it drawn out here. I just pulled up the random... Uh, chart yeah this should be it cool all right so this is the 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 landing bay oops the landing bay zone so yeah you do technically have a medical bench here uh but remember you guys were like almost all completely out of money so uh this is 
Gus had been selling all the stuff he could to get money so that y'all could stay fed and get back here. And he also wanted to get a really nice room when he got here. <laughs> if you recall, he had a really fancy room. Uh, all the medical supplies have been sold. Like, uh, like the drugs and stuff. So, it would probably be beneficial to go on to the space station, but I leave that up to you. And if you want, we can we can end it tonight, what, entering the space station, if you would like. Um, unless anybody uh, protests and wants to keep playing, but we'd have to have a unanimous vote on that. Because I don't think... I think it's going to be a while before we can play again, correct? Uh, look, we have one more weekend. I can still play the 20th and 21st. Okay, okay. I cannot, though. On the 20th and 21st? Oh, man. Yeah, I'll be gone. Damn. Um. Otherwise, well, I'm going to have to do a radio check from Singapore to see if uh, the third and fourth work. <clears throat> well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, if it doesn't work, Pi, um, we can do uh, Season 2 beginning because I haven't quite fleshed out how Ragbazi's going to show up there anyway. <laughs> so, uh, like, that it won't be a the huge issue. The cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally floating by on a green cloud. What's up, dude? <clears throat> I'm, I'm now a genie. <laughs> Alright, so uh, if you want to keep playing, type 1 in the game chat there. If you are, if we need to stop for the night, just type 2. That way I, uh, we're not all talking all over each other. And I... I guess my question is, Zach, like, do you still have a lot more to get through? Not necessarily. Um, we just need to get the space station on and functioning. You can push through it. I'm down. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to do a surgery check, uh, we can do that as well. But the 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 main <gasps> surgery check, yes. The what? main thing we're doing is turning on the space station, getting the space station powered back up, and essentially running like a diagnostic check, which shouldn't be. You guys have to just have to get to the to the like engineering or whatever. Um, prep the OR stat. Okay, one. Sorry. Uh, Moose, you good to keep playing? Yes. All right, cool. All right, we'll continue for a little bit. So you guys get to the space station. Adam's not here, so I can't ask him, but who all is grabbing rebreathers? Are you all just going to grab them just to have them? Or, uh, do, we, do we have them? Do you give me a life side point, and there's enough for everyone. Otherwise, there's only enough for half of the people. Okay, cool. Everyone has a rebreather. <clears throat> As the airlock opens, it is musty. Like, you see phys like actual chunks of, like, dirt, or no, I'm sorry, dust that has clumped up. Like, as the door opens, gets sucked in, and dust is blowing around inside the airlock. And it smells oh. old. It smells like, like wet. Like, there's been stagnant water or something sitting for too long in, like, a metal basin. So you can kind of get that metallic smell, like, like a weird metallic-y taste in the air. Um, and it's musty, but it doesn't smell like, like anything bad. There's no, You don't smell oil, you don't smell blood, you don't smell like... It's nothing bad, it's just it's a really musty ship, uh, and it is dark inside. There are uh, or red track lights at corners where doors are. And every, like, six feet on the hallways. <clears throat> so, you, we need to get power on. And you guys want to do an operation check. Does somebody want to give me a... Some sort of ship check. Um, probably piloting space or... What kind of skill would we do for knowing ship stuff? I think piloting space sounds like the, the best. I can work um, on the ship between my piloting and my computers. That, that feels like a yeah. That feels like a like a Kevin Costner. I'll tell you right now, uh, none of the computer terminals 
are 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 functioning. It's some one of those things where you either have to be in the engineering bay, or at like the piloting station, That's like okay. the the command center. But yeah, so but if you want to like I'm saying if you want to do a check to see if you would have an idea where these locations would be on the ship. Yes. I do. Yeah, so it's either going to be piloting space or a knowledge check of some sort. Um, uh, yeah, we can do piloting. Or a mechanics check, even. Oh, God. Mechanics is terrifying. <laughs> okay. Do whichever check you want. Yeah. So, this is a pretty common space station layout from your from your expert opinion there, Kevin <laughs> Costner. Uh, okay. You would know that the... Here, I'll actually just give you this. Can you guys see the layout now? No. There's... Something. There it is. Cool. Alright, here's your space station layout. You know that... Uh, life support... There's, a, there's a, a side control panel, generally, in one of the wings... And to get to main engineering would probably be on the second deck, and it's also going to be located near life support. But also, like all the power, all of the engineering, all the maintenance stuff, all of that is going to be on one level by itself, which is likely the second deck, which is where all of the antennas and stuff were coming out of. And the third deck is going to be most likely the control center. So any three right. of those locations would probably be uh, adequate. Um, but we'll have to do a computer's check, and it'll be the whichever area you choose will determine the difficulty of the setting. Okay. Uh, Kevin will look at doc, the doctors and go, "Doctors, prepare the patient. I'll get power and supply <clears throat> and support online." I'm gonna say that the uh, the med bay is right here next to life support. I believe. Unless we want it to be one of these storage rooms. We can make whichever room we want a uh, med bay. So you let me know. It actually probably would be good to be near an airlock. Right here? Okay, so we'll say that's med bay. Where's my marker? Okay, Red Cross. All right, so you're going to the the auxiliary controls, the the deck two, or are you going to uh, the piloting station? Uh, I would probably go to deck two. Okay, so what this means is you're going to be away from everyone else. Whoever goes with you also will be away from any, anyone else while the medical checks and stuff are going on. So there won't be any way that you could assist. This is kind of like we're just splitting the party. So, so they, you, Ke Kevin goes, I got this, guys, and just walks off. Into the dark, just disappears into the shadows. Well, <clears throat> yes, I, and I'll go into stealth. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, you know the center has the lift, and the lift is most likely not functioning, but there are hatches you can climb up ladders. It's fine. You get to the second deck. Um... Let's do the initial prep check for Gus's surgery while you're doing that. Uh, I give him a sh the shot that Rock Posse gave me. The scritopinol, the muscle relaxer, and antidepressant? Okay. I also give him a shot of anesthesia. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you guys an average check. Uh... I'm gonna, I feel like adding a setback because who knows what this mixture of drugs will do. Um, give me a medicine oh, check. Anesthesiologist. anesthesiologist knows. Well, you're both going <laughs> to... Well, Ragbazi then, you have to roll to see if uh, you're going to give him a correct dose with this skirtopinol and whether or not it is safe to do so. Got it, it's a good thing. I am a master doctor. Yeah, Once yeah. per round, suffer two strain to decrease the difficulty of messing up <laughs> by one. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> master doctor. Up, up. 
Uh, hold on. How dare you even question? There you go. <laughs> now it's easy with a setback. But hold on, I'm gonna upgrade it. So it's just one red and one setback. A success <laughs> and an advantage. Ragbazi, you don't even look. You're just like, here we go. <laughs> it's like sticking. All right, order a boss. <laughs> and the cloud, as you stick him, you just exhale a huge cloud in his face. And he's like, how soon is this supposed to, oh. Breathe me in. <sighs> no, wait. <clears throat> I just, my heart. Uh, and he starts passing out. Um, Rock, paper, scissors to see who's attending. Try, <laughs> try. Oh, I'll just, uh, like, <laughs> bow and curse you, like, doctor, and, like... Hey, oh, I want Zaz hey, to give me uh, a check real quick to see if we have the proper... If we can acquire proper equipment that's not, like, expired or that is sanitary before we move on. I'm sorry, if I didn't mean to interrupt you, what were you saying, though? I offer the first cut to Doc Zaz. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you want a medicine check to make sure that we have the right stuff? Yeah. To see if you can do what you need to do with what is on hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah, do. No problem. Yeah, two success <laughs> and four advantage. Yeah, you got you got it. Uh, uh, you also find a pair of those shears to cut off his clothes. Uh, he has changed his clothes. They're, they're, they're dry. Uh, For now. For now, <laughs> do you just cut off his clothes or do you like, pull them off? Like <laughs> I gotta know. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna cut off his clothes or are you gonna actually undress Lou? I'm just gonna undress him. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have everything you need. You're gonna have plenty of boosts on the check once power comes on. <clears throat> so you guys are prepping for the auto dock. You're just waiting for for the lights. Kevin, uh, Char Char, is there anything you want to do while we're doing all this? Uh, Oh my god, Char Char, give me a, some kind of sort of check to find alcohol. I was gonna say, like, is there a room? Like, what, what's the room? Like, I want alcohol. I'm gonna do hard with a setback because you definitely don't know the layout of this ship. Okay. What kind of, you can do a perception, you can do a skullduggery, uh, you can do, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, skullduggery. Skullduggery? Okay. Three threat and an advantage. What's what's Char Char's least favorite alcohol? Mm. I want to say like a stout, some a sort of stout, like thicker. You find uh, uh, the common rooms, which you didn't make it to any of the side rooms. You just made it to the common area, and you find it's like a mini fridge, and it looks like somebody opened a stout, took a drink, didn't like it. Put the lid, the cap back on, and shoved it back in the mini fridge. But Char Char hasn't drank in probably eighteen hours, twenty hours. He's starting to get kind of shaky. Yeah, you're Char Char. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> he just like drinks that. All right. And, like the whole time, he just go. <laughs> You're like gagging the whole time, but you do feel a sense of uh, of calm begin to overtake your your twitching nerves. I mean, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I've I've been to Poi Do Place where alcohol wasn't allowed, so. Port the storm, I guess. <laughs> uh, Kevin Costner. Oh, by the way, the fridge didn't with the powers off, right? So the so the, it was. It was like like lukewarm, almost room temperature. Listen. Uh, Disgusting. All right, Kevin Costner. <laughs> Kevin Costner, I'll give you the computers check to get everything back on. It's just average. All right, computers. For success, two threat. So yeah, you are able to get the, the everything turned on. Um, the only thing with the with the two threat, the only thing you haven't been able to get running are the like common area, like the uh, the habitation, like bedrooms, um, okay. and comms are gonna need something, some work done because something they've been off too long and nothing is aligned in the comms. But power's on, everything is on, life support is is kicking on. You can instantly you hear first off you hear a small hum. 
like kick on it goes and you can the the air on the ship almost instantly begins to thin out the the the, the must and everything kind of starts to stabilize you feel like it's almost a real a real space station if it wasn't for all the dust and 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 just mess everywhere looks like the when the ugnots were kicked out they did not take it kindly but back on the back to the surgery table <clears throat> um gus is gus is sitting there like oh my god you guys you put him out what did you do to him uh, why did you give him two things why does he need why does he need why does he need two why does he need two Shh, you're not the doctor here oh gus. my god Please, you guys. After he's my best done, friend. That's the least we can do to Lou for Lou. He's my best friend. Please do not kill my best friend, okay? I know I know he's dying, but he doesn't need to die today. Or does he? Uh, why don't you go <laughs> check on Char Char, Gus? Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, Char Char, if you give me a life side point, he's got a bottle of alcohol. No, you just hear Char Char going... <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can be in your cha cha right now. I'm a sympathetic gagger, so like, if I hear the too much gag, then I start gagging. You know what though? I don't like blood either. I'll leave. Um, please, please don't kill my best friend. Okay, please. Like, he's my best friend. Sure, sure, throw up. Gus throws up <laughs> as he's walking out the door. <laughs> As the door closes, you hear Char Char puke, and then you immediately hear Gus puke, and then the door closes as it mid, mid like Gus puking sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who is making? Okay, so what we're doing here? Let me make a little list of things to make to do the operation. We need to open Lou. <laughs> open Lou. <laughs> Step two. Um, heart surgery. Dang, is that in the book? No, this step is something we're, we're we're doing stuff. Oh, step, I heard some tape question happen, mark. So step, step four, profit. Step three, <laughs> question mark, because who knows what happens after the surgery? And step four is profit. uh, close him up. <laughs> that is the that that is the profit. The ultimate profit now <laughs> is saving Lou's life. And private. Close him up, and then we'll do. Shut up, and then and then we'll do a di diagnosis diagnosis uh, after he's awake, if he wakes up. So I'm gonna prone Lou, and then I'm gonna start pantomiming what's wrong with him to Doc Zaz, <laughs> loosely. <laughs> so there's this thingy that it goes. Quick, quick, quick. It's about right here. It's supposed to go quick, quick, this way, but it's not quick, quick, going this way. Quick, quick. As I'm waggling fingers like a, like a like a blood vessel pumping. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so you're saying he needs a shunt. Oh, yeah, one shit. of those. What's, what's a. Internally. What's a shunt? <laughs> 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 but uh, 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 with uh, Doc Zaz's um, check before, everything, everything you need is like on one of those little surgical trays next to you. Uh, you have like an auto dock scanner, like a pull down big scanning unit. Um. All the tools you'll need are already prepared. So as long as you can kind of, since you had the better, you did the xenology check earlier and had the triumph and stuff, you have a better idea of the physiology of a Rodian than the Doc Zaz might. So are you directing and Zaz is cutting? Is that is there a marker? <laughs> Absolutely. Lines? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to start drawing lines. Either that, that or you just use your blunt. You put out your blunt and <laughs> char <laughs> charcoal lines down his back. But yeah, there's a marker. Surgical. No, surgical. I have a little respect for Lou. I'm gonna start drawing cut lines. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, Zaz. Let me see here. So the opening of Lou. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll do an average. You have everything you need, so I'm gonna give you for all these checks. You're gonna have three boost. All right, first check, Doctor Zaz. Open up this fly guy. Two success, three advantage. All right. So you get... <laughs> Bone saw. Oh, Ooh, my God. <laughs> Rib spreader. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Here, uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That tracks. 
and uh, uh, shunt. Did you say shunt? <laughs> you hand him. You hand him a blunt. So far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, it's, like, it's the tip of a cigar. The plastic tip. <laughs> Oh my god, please don't kill Glue. <laughs> oh my god, please. We're making him better. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> we're making him better. We put an accordion, we we put an accordion pump in there. Yeah. We put an accordion pump in there, and it's attached to these little pumps on his feet, so when he walks, it pumps for him, but he can't ever stop walking. <laughs> we have the ability to make him better. We just don't want to spend a lot. So you managed to cut cut his back open properly. Uh, you've exposed the heart properly. All the you, because of your medical precision, there's not a, there's no like severe loss of blood. Uh, you have like a saline drip or whatever for a rodent. Okay. Everything, everything. Yes, everything is is has gone perfectly so far. Um, the next step would be the heart That's surgery. Perfect. So who want, who's going to open the heart and start trying to remove the mass? Is it going to keep being Zaz for this? And then once once we get past the heart surgery, have Ragbazi close him up? Are you guys going back and forth? Because I know surgery is very tiring. Doctor, would you like to take this step? All right. Crack my <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna be. I don't know what you have going on, but this is gonna be a hard check with three boost because of all of the stuff Zaz has prepared. You can do it. You can do it. And it was only so easy because of all of the things that have gone right <laughs> so far. <laughs> okay, let me check. All right. Okay, this is fine, because I have this. <laughs> oh no! What is what is happening? Uh, for advantage. So, you managed to get the heart open, but where you opened it is kind of on the opposite side of where you needed to get it. Like the like maybe you had the chart upside down or something, but it's on. You get you can't quite get to whatever mass this is. You're going to have to. Uh, we're gonna have to do another another check with a setback. So it's still the same check, hard, three boost, but now there's one setback added. Can I use mm -hmm. natural doctor? You can use anything because this is like twelve hours later. Once per session, I may reroll any medicine check. So can I reroll that first medicine check? Oh. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Go for it. There you go. A success and an advantage. JK, that wound stitched itself back up. Yeah, you... Got on the right side. You're like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait. Oh, I'm not dumb dumb. This, I'm holding the scalpel backwards. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God! There we go. I'm so glad he's unconscious. Um... <laughs> With the advantage, you also notice that it's probably time to give him a little more anesthesia. Um, Do you think he feels us, Zaz? I'm going to flick the edge of the cut. His little, you know how they have the little little uh, ear dang dangly news on their head? One of them twitches a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, no. Stab. <laughs> Stab! <laughs> Anesthesia stab. <laughs> oh, uh, oh no. it just yeah everything. It just you could you could see a little bit. Like, he wasn't awake, but there there's a little bit of tension that leaves him. There's some reflex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everything oh, just kind of okay, droops. It's okay, Lou. We uh, have this. All right, so we have the heart. Um, so we need to. Okay, the heart is open. You have the mass. We need to. Um, Question mark question mark which would be like <laughs> so so there was a mass in there that you removed you need to make sure that nothing is ha going to happen to the inner wall of his heart there make sure that there's no extra damage or that you don't need to uh, do anything with the tissue so uh, again that'll be a hard with three boost if anybody wants to who wants to do this this will be right before we start closing him up to make sure it's not damaged? 
Yeah, to make sure. Like, so you have the mask removed. The mask is removed, but you need to make sure that once you close in back up, everything will. Like, nothing is damaged internally. You know what I'm saying? Like, where the mask was removed from. I will roll again with a band aid. I'm going to use a med patch as I roll. Perfect. That's that's perfect. Whenever you're ready. Um, Does that reduce? Okay, Lou. Do you no. have that thing that reduces the difficulty still too? Cause uh, we'll technically consider this a new session because this has been like twelve hours. Oh, I mean, that's I if that's... have reduce, and I'm here with him. You know, that's the case. I have two ranks of surgeon. What does that do? Well, uh, when making medicine checks to help a character, the target heals one additional wound per rank of surgeon. Oh, okay. Uh, I will. I will give you an upgrade for Doc Reg or Doc Zaz also, because he does have the reduce of difficulty. But since you're the, if you're gonna be one doing it, I will give you an upgrade instead of reducing the difficulty. Does that sound legit? Sure. With the med patch. Yeah, that gives you what an extra success and advantage. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Making sure. Oh, got gotcha, you low. To success, perfect. Live. You Live. manage to like you manage to like suture up any any openings, stop any bleeding in there. You have like a little uh, little laser that's zapping all of the spots that are bleeding, so they cauterize. Um, <laughs> you get joint to cauterize the wounds. <laughs> you what? Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yes. And you know it's it's clean. I rolled this myself. <laughs> uh, you always roll with your gloves on. You always sanitize. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's little little joint, like cigar, little tiny cigar burns, all over inside his little heart there. And you get the heart closed up. And now we need to close like the muscle tissue and the uh, the. Uh, Like, like close his back up, like close him up all the way. So who wants to roll that? That'll be average with the three boosts. And Zaz, if you do it, I will let you reduce it to easy. With your yeah, skill. I'll, do it. I'll okay. close him up. All right. I'll let Rec Bossy rest after that. Yeah, I imagine. Heart surgery. I imagine he slumps back in like a chair in the corner and it has a, lights another market herb with the one he's already got. <laughs> I'm leaning up against the table, like uh, Lou and the operating mm -hmm. bench is like the back of his sofa. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, also, at this point in time, uh, Kevin Costner, were you coming back to meet everybody, or were you doing something else? I was going to whatever didn't get turned on, I need to go make sure I get turned on. So. Gotcha. You can either do the comms, which are right near where you are, or what was the other one? It was uh, the power for the crew rooms, which are, which would likely be the auxiliary controls. Okay. Uh, we'll do the, the comms since I'm right there. All right. So it's going to be average, but there's going to be two setback just because of, all, uh, like, it hasn't been ran in a while, and it has, like, without having it on, it doesn't have, it's not linked to the systems properly. It's all out of alignment. So you're going to have to like manually align this uh, and well, get the comms back it, on. These, these cowards, how dare they leave the, how dare these Ugnots leave this in this state of disrepair? Advantage. Oh, uh, wait, do you remove setback, by the way, for computer ships? Yes, I removed two setbacks. Okay, so you have a success and an advantage. Perfect. Hooray! So you manage to line it back up. Uh, you 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 base it off of where you came from. So you have you're connected back to Kevin Comos, and uh, you hear like a bunch of imperial chatter, and uh, you're just hearing a bunch of news, and it's all hilarious. Uh, but the comms are back on. Char Char, you and Gus are, are are puking all over each other. Are you just is that just continuing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, Forever mean, and ever and for all eternity. Char-Char actually has a pretty strong constitution. Uh, Do you? He's not, he's not a... Yeah, come on. Give the, me a resilience the, check. The, okay. I was going to say, the things he's drank, come on. 
Yeah, uh, but this is your least favorite, and it's warm and, like, musty. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's out of his stomach at this point. Well, just, well, there might still just, be something in there. That was just Gus vomiting. A success and a threat. Yeah, Gus is puking on your shoes and stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I told you. I warned you. I warned you. <laughs> Uh, Charter's just gonna look at him and go like, "You warned me what?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I was just throwing up over here. <laughs> uh, all right, Zaz, you are sewing him back up. Give me the it's an average, and you get your three boost still. Oh wait, it's easy, right? Because you get to reduce it. Go for it. <laughs> hey, what do you want? What kind of a trophy do you want to take? You had access to the inside of a Rodian. Uh, you also have, he's still unconscious, and you're the doctor, man, you don't know, he, I mean, if How you, much would you say Ragboss is paying attention? Not at all. Not at, yeah, I was gonna say, he's not even looking, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he assumes he's done, I'm sure. Yeah. Do I feel like I can explain away a missing antenna off of a Rodian? After yeah, Probably. I mean, with this with this much advantage, uh, yeah, I think that you could. Yeah, uh, what anybody else would understand, I used his ear as the shunt for his heart. He, you yeah, needed yeah, tissue, yeah. like cells and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I'll give it to you. I'll let you be able to argue that successfully once he's awake. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I need that little antenna ear. You're gonna whatever. use it like like tin cans on a string. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? Lou, come in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you have it. <laughs> All right. Who wants? Who's wake? Who's waking him up? Uh, Doc Saz can, but realizing that he, he's missing an ear, could I start looking for an ear horn for him? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. First, let's do this uh, waking him up check. Oh, easy. Uh, I give him impact. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I'm going to remove these boosts, and I'm going to make it an average check. Uh, I need to see if it interacts with the drugs that are already in the system. So give me a medicine check, Rick Bozzi. Success and a threat. Uh, yeah, you stick him with it, um, but you just gave him heart surgery. So he's like he's almost palpitating. Like <laughs> his his heart starts kicking, and uh, it's probably gonna hurt because it shouldn't be beating this fast. You see her, Lou? Oh, 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 oh my God! What is that, Lou? How's the ticker now? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Oh, I must be dead and in hell. You guys are still here. <laughs> I'm gonna hold him by his face, very gently. He's like, "You're very much alive, Lou. <laughs> You're welcome." <laughs> And I'm gonna kiss him on the forehead. How much longer do I got? How much? What did you? What was it? Did you get it out? Yeah. I'm gonna dangle the growth in front of his face. <laughs> what did you put? In, did you put something else in me? Did you? You didn't leave any tools in there, did you? Please tell me. No, it's, you're all red as rain, Lou. He looks at Zaz. Here's, was he smoking? Bad news, Lou. Oh no! Oh no! 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 We had to use one of your antenna. As a shunt in your heart. As he's he's looking at his hands and his legs to make sure they're all there, and he hears you say that, and he's like, "What?" And he reaches up and grabs his head. And he's like, "Oh no, no, no! That's my favorite one. Oh, why did you do that?" Would you like us to cut you open and use the other one? I mean, we can put this back. Uh, I guess I should say thanks. Um, like, are we like are we good? Good like. Good, good. No way. That's My family, a... Lou. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than good. Like, it hurts. It still hurts so bad. I can like, I, I'm like, I'm, my heart's beating like I a mean, million miles an hour. For sure, you need to take it easy for a while and take some antibiotics. Yeah, love can be painful sometimes. <laughs> take some of this. What, what is this? Is this prescription prescribed? What is this? Whatever at Tylenol is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you actually have that, or is it something different? Because uh, your fanny pack just has like random syringes in it. 
It, yeah, it's the list is so long. I'm still looking. Because <laughs> you, you can roll a die if you want to see what you give him, but or you can just I mean, pick something. We did roll to say that we had everything we needed in here. So that's I'm that's sure true. There's Tylenol in the cover. Right, but is Ragbazi going to use it, or is he going to just grab something that he has on hand? Is my question. Oh no, he's going to grab what we have and just give it to him. Okay, okay. So yeah, he's like, okay, all right, thank you. And two of these, maybe not right now, but in a little bit. What is a little bit? Like an hour? Two hours? Six hours? Eh, dealer's choice. Okay. Where's, where's Gus? <laughs> yeah, the door opens. And you... <laughs> oh, Gus. What's the matter, buddy? <laughs> Lou. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, Charco just walks in and goes, I, I don't know, dude. He's been doing this for like was somebody gag or something? I know he's a sympathetic gag. He just... <laughs> <laughs> George, George just shrugs. <laughs> you guys got the power back on. This place is this place is looking like shit, but I mean it's still pretty pretty good. Like the power's on. I can. I, 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 the... <laughs> I was waiting for you to say good because <laughs> <laughs> really there's vomit everywhere. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. At life supports on. I think we're, this is amazing, you guys. This is amazing. Now get off my get off my space. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gus is like get Lou. Off my space stick. Rest up so you can start sweeping, Lou. <laughs> Lou, Lou Gus is Lou. Thank you, my fr thank you so much. This is this means so much. I, you know, I I, I thought. That I was at the end, and I couldn't deal with these chuckleheads anymore. But, I mean, we, you did it. You guys did something right. We got stuff. We can sell these weapons. And we could, like, this is incredible. Like, you did it. You guys did something right. I think, I think we'll try again. And now we have a base of operations. We can, like, you know, you know, plan things a little better. Maybe start our own little, little organization, you know, like. Merry Life Day, everyone. <laughs> this is this has been great. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of sucked really bad. I'm still like I'm still missing something, and it's not just my lunch anymore. But like something deep inside me is like I crave something, and I have no idea what it is. And my fingers are cold. Like oh gosh, <laughs> really I'm cold. Hug. I'm <laughs> <hug>. <laughs> he just he pats you on the back, and he's like, uh, how, how long has Lou got? Did you like? Did you extend his stay, or, or uh, were you able to get him? Yeah, he'll be fine. Lou I'm stuck himself with whatever. His face. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Gus turns and starts throwing up again. Lou passes out because uh, he stuck himself with. He shot himself with the little med gun with the Tylenol, or whatever it is, and uh, yeah. Um, before we go, does Kevin Costner want to try to get the the main state rooms on, or are we just going to leave that? Uh, we'll work on that off off. Cool. Off screen. Uh, as you, everything is going on and settles down. Kevin has this fat binder looking thing, and yeah, on the does. on the front it just says McAllister, <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, when you open it, there's a few different addresses. Uh, some things, places are crossed out. Uh, you see the address you were at last year where you burnt the place down? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. And, uh, yeah, um, it's got photos of the whole family. You know what the kid is allergic to? Like, you have all of the Phobia? information. Uh, his phobias? Like you need you need to send me specifics on what those are. Oh shit! All right, remind me and I will. Um, and we will end with Life Day, uh, the Spirit to Christmas Future. Who knows what's in store now that Gus is back on board and Lou's alive? I wasn't planning on keeping Lou around, like like on the space station, but he does need to kind of. Oh, he's not here now. Yeah, he's here now. He's um, a permanent part of the group. We'll keep bringing him back. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> also, uh, Doc Ragbazi, you find a hydroponic garden 
that all of the plants are dead. Everything in there is dead. But it's a hydroponic garden. You can grow whatever you want in here. And scene, I'm putting on uh, my medical latex gloves. Snap, snap. <laughs> As I enter, time to get to work. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Zaz, you got you make it in. You find your own stateroom. You got you you selected your room. You, you all have your own bat, your own uh, refreshers attached. Uh, it's got a nice like almost like a display countertop on top of the dresser. Uh, that it's got you know the accordion style bookcases not accordion the the they're like the quarter dome and you could slide it up it's like a like a writing table with one of those pull down covers yeah. you know? kind of kind of but it's like a, it's a like lot a nicer desk. and when you open that roller there's little tiered shelves like somebody had some sort of like a uh, collection they they kept really nice there but it's go- has sp- since been removed but the furniture is still there. So you have a nice little display table for all your goodies. Um, and you also notice that the bottom drawer of this table, if you uh, open, if you shimmy it to the left and open it, there's extra an extra compartment in the back where you can hide things you don't want people to see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Char Char, now that the power's on, everyone's done puking, you're able to do a, a better search of the ship and actually in the storage bay right above where you were all puking there's like a crate of wyron's reserve oh <laughs> char char weeps and then the stout comes back <laughs> 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 Too much excitement for Char Char. Uh, Kevin Costner, you notice... Like, what is something... Like, Zaz and Kevin, I need something that you guys would really want. I know I gave Zaz kind of like a display thing, but I get, you know, Doc McBazzi has a garden. Char Char has this crate of alcohol. There could be like a, a space to make like a gun range or something. Or what is something that you got you all would like on the ship? Or for you personally? Find, a, find like... Uh, piece of equipment or any like you give me some ideas we'll see what we can do kevin just needs access to find way like do his research this communications it looks like this space station may have been um kind of uh, like a like a like a dark station like it's it's not something that was super known, like maybe like a smuggler's space station or something. Uh, the communication setup, you've got essentially, uh, what is it, data breaker type stuff. You've got a really secure um, hypercaster unit. Your your All of your communications are super state-of-the-art secure, and your access to the holonet, they've already got, they basically have like a super tour. <laughs> where you can access the dark web like a whole separate console just for accessing the dark web um, you can acquire information you can uh, there are, are like chat boards there's all this is like a, a a really illicit communication setup so it's four it's it's eight chan <laughs> it's <thank> eight chan <laughs> uh, even worse is there anything that anything else that Zaz would really like <laughs> yeah, it's got like it's got like four VPNs. <laughs> uh probably mostly I'm just gonna take over the med bay and do like my research and stuff in there. Absolutely. You already set a password for all the stuff you don't want people to see. So there's like the regular med bay stuff that Ragbazi can access and anyone else who thinks they could do medicine stuff they can access. But then you've got like a partition in the hard drive that's password like protected and stuff. And it's where you keep all the stuff you don't want people to see. And yeah. The the med bay is is pretty well stocked. It was probably something that they left for the end because they knew people were, might get hurt doing the exit. Um, and it just got left. 
So there's a good amount of equipment there. Some of the meds are expired, but you also have contacts on there um, of people that maybe used to supply them with their uh, off-the-books drugs. So, yeah, mm, absolutely. Off-book drugs. And with that, we will end Life Day 2022. Uh, just one second. I need to, my throat is killing me. Oh, we uh, hope you enjoyed. If there's anybody anybody else wants to say or do before we go, uh, do it now or forever hold your peanuts. Uh, doctor. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, have a good night. Have a good year. And may the force be with you. Uh, yeah.